Morning gang, my name is Dan Finity, and today we're going to talk about the new Wavelink 2.0 update that Elgato just pushed out for all of their microphones. For full disclosure, I am an Elgato ambassador. Uh, I've been messing around with this Wavelink 2.0 for the better part of a week. Uh, I'm finding that I like a lot of the changes that they've made to the UI. There's a few things that I'm not entirely sure about, but we'll get into that here in the video. When Elgato started putting out their mics, I was really excited, not only for the hardware, that they provide. But the Wavelink software itself, I think is a big selling point for these devices. There's only been a few times where uh, I've had some minor glitches here and there. For the most part, I haven't had many complaints. And with Wavelink 2.0, they've added some features that make this a lot more friendly out of the box. One of the things that I missed from the Wave XLR that I lost when I did the Stream Deck XLR dock was the haptic mute button at the top. It was very useful when Ginny would come into my office to tell me some news that maybe we didn't want everybody to hear. It was just a very quick tap at the top. That feature has been missing from uh, the Wavelink software until now. They've made it very easy here at the top where your microphone goes in. Just click that button. See, it works like a charm. Another feature that I enjoy with this release is the one-click audio routing. One of the pesky things about using Wavelink in the past was that you would need to go into your advanced audio settings in order to set different games, different programs to each of these channels. Now they have this little app grouping that allows you to put them all within this screen. This is their one-click audio routing. That's super handy if you're playing a lot of games all the time, if you have multiple browsers, or if you have different music sources. As you can see up in the upper right hand corner, you have a few more buttons. You have uh, your profile here. You can export a profile to any stream deck that you have, and you can visit the marketplace directly from inside the Wavelink hub. If you have any unused channels, you can go ahead and hide those now. I never use my system sounds for anything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that input. And if I wanna add it back, I can just go ahead and click here, add the system back, it will remove anything from that channel, but it's so easy to connect anything back to it with this little bar here. All in all, there's a lot of visual touch-ups here that are super handy. I enjoy a good UI as much as the next person. Audio-wise, there are a few new things. We're gonna go down here where our VSTs normally land, and now you see this menu that not only has your VSTs that you've added in yourself, but you also see this voice focus powered by AI acoustics. What this does is it adds a filter over your voice uh, that takes out background noise and addresses reverb within your recording space. This runs on your CPU and only runs on Elgato microphone products. This is a local model and I've been assured that it doesn't feed into a larger model if that is something that you are worried about. You also don't have to have this feature on at all. So I think the best way that we can uh, show this off is if I turn off all of my other VSTs currently. So this is the sound of my microphone without any VSTs, where we have it set for the strongest that this effect will use. And I'll click this button. Check, check, hey, check, check, hey. They say this is a localized model and it will train itself on your voice. If I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I'm not gonna use this at all. I have my VSTs pretty honed in for my production and I feel like they make me sound a little bit more robust than what this does. One good feature here that they added in is this record function. It's a little bit of a sound check for yourself. When you click record, it will record your audio and your production in a loop and feed it back to you. So you can kind of pinpoint any problems that you might have with your chain. All in all, I really like this release. Uh, I know that there's a few things that have just simplified the way that it looks and, and how it acts that will simplify my workflow and help me with my productions. There's one thing that I'm not sure about, which is the AI powered voice focus stuff. I can see how that can be useful for somebody who doesn't have a lot of expertise in, in throwing VSTs into Wavelink, but there are a ton of creators out there who showcase different VSTs that you can use. All of the VSTs that I use, I found in a video from Defrag. I'll try to include that in a card or a link in the description. But yeah, tell me what you think. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. As always, be well and be safe out there, and I hope you find what you're grinding for.